here I am at my age and, and really never having a role like this. I was just sort of astonished that I was offered this part, you know, I thought. Um, and to have the chance to flesh out this woman, it really didn't, I have to say, it's one of the easiest things I've done, <laughs> which surprises me because there was so, I didn't feel like I had to work at it. It just was there on the page and, and with the other actors who were so great. We were like our little rep company and that had very short time to develop that <clears throat> chemistry and rapport, but it was there. And it just was one of those little gifts. All my life, I wanted to be a jazz singer. That's really what I wanted to do. I, when I was really young, I'd studied in Berlin, I'd studied classical singing. And I thought I wanted to be a singer of leader, but I, I, in college I got into jazz and I just, I was nervous about it. And also there wasn't a lot of chance to warm up because you know, we were shooting, as I say, I was in every scene and we were shooting uh, so many scenes every day. So I was a little nervous about the warming up and getting ready for it. but. Again, it, it, it went, went pretty smoothly, and I love to sing. When I met Martin, he came to, to my place where I live here, and we had tea, and we just talked, and he has such a, um, a kindness and almost a Buddha nature. And, and I talked to him about it, and he does, he is indeed a Buddhist. And so, I mean, that just comes to my mind. It, to me, it really comes across in his performance. There's a stillness, there's a serenity, there's a beauty beyond, you know, beyond his eyes, that the, what, the eyes mirror the soul. Or, and, and I think that the essence of him is very much in that. There was an automatic rapport in an instant with all of us. That's why I just somehow think that this was such a, a labor of love, but labor is, on our parts wasn't nearly what it was for bread, of course, but he, he created such a lovely piece and, and it's a secure place to work that, that we just, that kind of rolled, rolled along without any real problems. What a sweetheart, you know, he was so dear and really, really wonderful. And all of that felt so natural. At one point, I actually, when we were in bed, I actually flung my leg over his in the bed and he kind of looked at me like, I was like, oh my God. It made me feel so comfortable that I sort of was back in my, my old days of when I was married and felt, oh, well, this, feel, this feels right. <laughs> Right before she decides that she really would like to see him go out with him, she's just had this terrible uh, speed dating experience, and, and everyone, you know, just sunk her lower and lower and lower. And then he appears in the parking lot, and it's this ray of light, this real, you know, man's man. And, they, he, and, and again, uh, he's a bit mysterious, but he also has that quality that she has, I think, that they share together, no BS.